Oh, Benny, what are you doing to watch? Violet Alden asked her six-year-old brother. Benny Alden grinned. He had tied a bandana around Watch's head, with a leaf tucked under one side to make an eye patch. I'm a pirate, he said, and I'm making Watch walk the plank. Benny had put a board across the stump that the Aldens used as a step up into the old box car in their backyard. He was standing on top of the board. Watch, who was a small black and white dog, was standing at one end of the board. Okay, Watch. Jump off the plank into the ocean, Benny commanded. Watch looked over his shoulder at Benny. Then he sat down on the end of the board and yawned. Ten-year-old Violet laughed. I don't think Watch wants to walk the plank. I know, said Benny. I'm not a very good pirate yet. I need more practice. Benny had been very interested in pirates ever since he and his sisters, Violet, and twelve-year-old Jesse, and his fourteen-year-old brother Henry, had visited Charleston, South Carolina. They had gone to help a friend of their grandfather's rebuild her house after a hurricane. But they had ended up finding a pirate's treasure. Benny jumped off the stump. Without his weight on it, the board tipped forward. Look out, said Violet, <coughs> said Watch, and jumped onto the grass as the board fell off the stump. Benny and Violet both laughed now. Watch ran in circles around Benny, wagging his tail and looking pleased with himself. Come on, said Violet. You'll have to practice being a pirate later. Sue Lee is here. Sue Lee was the Alden's cousin. She was the daughter of Aunt Alice and Uncle Joe. They lived in Greenfield, too. Violet, Benny, and Watch went across the backyard toward the kitchen door of the big old white house where they lived. The red box car was the Alden's old home. The white house was their new one. After their parents died, the Aldens had run away. They had heard that their grandfather was a mean person. They'd made a home in the abandoned boxcar in the woods, where they had found Watch and adopted him. Then Grandfather Alden had found them, and he hadn't been mean at all. So the four Aldens and Watch had come to live with their grandfather in his house in Greenfield. And he had even moved the boxcar to the backyard so they could visit it whenever they wanted. Maybe Sue Lee would like to play pirate, said Benny. No, said Violet. Sue Lee is here so we can practice soccer. She brought her soccer ball. We signed up for the Greenfield Summer Soccer League, remember? I remember, said Benny. The tryouts are this weekend, said Violet. We want to be ready. She opened the back door, and they walked into the kitchen. Mrs. McGregor, the housekeeper, was stirring something in a big bowl. Is that a cake for dinner? asked Benny, hopefully. It might be, said Mrs. McGregor with a twinkle in her eye. You'll find out later. We're going to practice soccer with Sue Lee, said Violet, at the park. May we get anything for you while we are out? Maybe ice cream to go with the cake, added Benny. Mrs. McGregor shook her head. Thank you, but I don't need anything. Not even ice cream. Don't be late for dinner now. We won't, Benny promised. Sue Lee, Henry, and Jesse were in the front yard. They were kicking a soccer ball back and forth. When Sue Lee saw Benny and Violet, she put her foot on top of the ball and stopped it. Come on, she said. Let's hurry and practice. She gave the ball to Jesse, who put it in her pack. When they reached the park, Jesse took the ball out of her pack. Then Sue Lee took another ball out of her pack. Two balls? said Violet. But you only use one ball to play soccer, don't you? Like Benny, Violet had never played soccer before. Don't worry, we'll just use two balls for practice, said Henry. He, Jesse, and Sue Lee had all played soccer before. Sue Lee was a very good soccer player. She had played in Korea, where she was born. Like her cousins, Sue Lee was an orphan. Aunt Alice and Uncle Joe had adopted her.